everyone welcome to mr and mrs gold's youtube channel i'm mrs gold and today a queen was born and her name is the original dance hall queen carleen she is the first dance hall queen in the whole wide world world and from one queen to another i just want to wish you a happy birthday carlene and you know i'm always here to educate the youngings on some of dance hall history because as much as there's a lot of vloggers who vlog on dance hall not a lot of them have lived and breathed it like me and certain other people so i'm here to teach the youngings about dance hall queen carlene Bless up, love. Always. Back smile jammers. Now, Carleen Smith, do you know that name? Jamaica's first dance hall queen. She was crowned queen in 1992, and there have been others, but Carleen is just Carleen. Um, she held a national spotlight on a reign that was usually isolated to Jamaican garrisons. Okay, really? So she wears so I'm going to so read articles hats. from different now, sources just to give you guys an idea of who Dancehall Queen Carlene is. So the first article is going to come from DancehallReggaeWorld.com. Dancehall Queen Carlene revolutionized the Jamaican dancehall culture with her fearless fashion and fury dance moves. She represents the couture fashions and the hardcore, hardcore sensibilities of the dance hall world. So naturally, her fans and the media couldn't wait to see what she would be wearing at her next performance. So this is an old article that talks about Carlene that's in their archive. But um, what I wanted to say that a lot of people don't do today is is fashion back in our days we used to go to see taylor dressmaker make our own outfits buy material cut it out paint put sequins on it airbrush we used to do the works a dance hall queen in the past used to put energy in the outfits she made and we got all of that from dance hall queen carlene and that's where it came from and she deserves the props for it Let's take a look at some of her outfits from in the past. Now, Carlene was the definition of a real dancehall queen. We don't have most of that nowadays, but a real dancehall queen, what we got judged on was you had to have charisma, you have to be articulate, you have to be able to carry yourself presentable when you go places. Um, you would have to be able to have, obviously have your clothes put together and you would just stand out in a crowd. It wasn't about if you can do the most stunts or who can do this the best or that the best. It was about who makes everyone's head turn. 
<laughs> at the right moment at times. So the article continues to say that Carlene is Jamaica's first dance hall queen and the undisputed queen of the dance hall. In the 90s, she was the trendsetter in the dance hall with her skimpy stylish fashion and dance techniques. Despite of her association in the ghetto and the dance hall, Carlene had a middle class upbringing and was raised in a district of Ravina, St. Andrew, Kingston by both her parents. Her father is from a German descendant. She was educated um, and further to her education, she spent time in the U.S. during her teenage years. She would show off her dance moves and talents at Fets and Teen Jams. Um, also, if you guys never knew that, Carlene also has taught at the University of West Indies. And even in um, our Jamaican culture class here in Canada at York University, we studied dancehall queen Carlene in university. So just so you guys know, this woman... Fashion Clash Competition. In 1992, Carlene performed at an event dubbed Fashion Clash, Uptown Fashion versus Downtown Fashion, staged at the then popular Cactus Nightclub in Portmore. The promoter of this event was the late Vivian Blake of the shower posse big up the shower posse crew she and her dance crew pinky sister sharon and lorna friends compete against the likes of top models such as the former miss jamaica world erica with no doubt she won the competition obviously at the time she was 18 years old and that was the beginning of victory in several other competitions for Carlene. Perform with their cadre of trained dancers. Carlene is embraced by both upper, middle, and lower class Jamaicans. She has broken the social barrier between uptown and downtown today. We can see uptowners mingling with the downtowners at dance hall events such as Cash Money Thursday, boop, boop, big up Cash Money, Pasa Pasa, Weddy Weddy, and Uptown Mondays, etc. Carlene has brought something different to the dance hall industry, somewhat similar to what Madonna has introduced to the pop culture. She has helped to give dance hall an identity. Totally agree. She came into the dance hall with an image that persons were not used to. And while the dance hall fraternity accepted it, there were some who didn't. Uh, except the change in dance hall and in the Jamaican culture. Yeah, she had a lot of hate because of her complexion and people thought, oh, who's this uptown girl? There was a lot of hate during that time when Carlene first bust. The word spreads. They know who I am. The fashion icon she sure is. In 1986, when Carlene was 15 years old, she had won a three-inch mini skirt whistle out in Kingston. You hear the titles of these songs, people? Like, yo, promo back in those days was just funny, yo. A causing traffic chaos in Halfway Tree Road. The occurrences was even reported on the radio. Comments from the critics is that Carlene is an outrageous person, noted Carlene. I always had it in me to wear little or whatever I wanted to wear. I didn't think of it as rude. I just thought of it as an expression of fashion. Totally agree and always believed in that. 
Um, Carlene also has a flair for designing her own fashion. Most of the dazzle and chic fashion, same thing as telling you guys, she wore then to the dance hall was created by her. Nevertheless, she would still wear designers by top Jamaican designer, Errol Biggie Turner. Bloop, bloop. Her taste of fashion can be classified as exotic, unique, and fabulous. This was the entertainer. Carlene has performed around the world, including Canada, and sold out venues. Her fans admire her for her curvious body. Many describe her as uptown browning or the clear skin dance out queen. Okay, I've never heard nobody call her that, so I'm glad I didn't. Because what kind of stupidness is that? She's just a dance out queen. Anyhow, <laughs> also being admired for uh, her risky fashion, her colorful wigs, attire, a lot of fashionable jewelry, sporting sexy body piercing. She has performed with popular Jamaican artists such as Shaba Ranks, Junior Tucker, Carlene Davis, Ninja Man, Shaka Demas and Pliers, and the queen, the original queen of dancehall music, Lady Saw. The dancehall competition. Carlene's influence still felt in dancehall culture today, both locally and internationally. We can see Rihanna doing the butterfly dance in Rude Boy music video, and some of Carlene's fashion was imitated by her in her Pour It Up music video, which spurs a controversy on the internet with um, Carlene's fans and Rihanna's fans. That happens all the time. Even my Matrix Dutty Wine was... Um, used in Beyonce's video. The concept of the annual Dancehall Queen competition was duplicated from the staging of the Fashion Clash competition in 1992. The terminology Dancehall Queen was coined by Carlene. She was the innovator of the Fashion Clash competition in 1992. After the first successful staging of the Fashion Class, Clash, the competition was introduced island-wide and Carlene and her crew would be headlining for this event. The Dancehall Queen competition has become a commodity and titled Dancehall Queen has become a career for some young women worldwide, which is true. Each year, females from across the world would come to Jamaica and compete for the title Dancehall Queen. Despite of the, men the many that have dressed to get attention and they're grabbing outfits and all the clothes that they wear and their expressions none of them to date to this day have achieved or created an impact in dancehall culture compared to the niche that carlene has carved totally agree 100 percent her love life in 1990s Carlene had a long-term relationship with international dancehall artist Beanie Man. The couple were media folk favorites in Jamaica. Both of them worked as brand ambassadors for Quartz and Slam Condom. In 1999, both of them had a daughter together. She then married uh, Mr. Williams. I won't say the first name just for protection, uh, who is now her ex-husband guys could go and uh, look that up let's hear Carnine talk about that some more this is being the man I'm talking about it and you can see it on the DVD if you buy it or you go online and watch it it's lyric magazine be clean Boom. does being the man pay a role I was already 1994 I was a household name so at this point I was now going to play a role in his career by introducing him and letting him open to a wider vast. At nine, by 94, I was, I was on every commercial in Jamaica. I was on every radio station, every newspaper, every TV station. You couldn't, there is not a day pass that you wouldn't see me in the paper for something. So when Beanie Man came, it was just an additive to my life for me you now being very happy and completed that it was you no know, dance all and totally 
the queen, and you know a queen makes a king. Not the reverse. I know what you like. Now, Dancehall Queen Carleen was also featured in Vibe magazine, for those who didn't know, which was a popular hip-hop magazine. So Dancehall Meg has an article that they did um, in 2020, July 6th, um, called Dancehall Queen for Life, Carlene Teaches Iconic Butterfly Dance Move. And what I liked in this article is they just give you some more insight on her relationship with Beanie Man. After becoming pregnant for the former partner Beanie Man, she hung up her dancing boots to be a full-time parent. Though she also pursued other ventures in traditional media, since her daughter graduated from high school in 2016, Smith has become more active in dancehall space from appearing in dancehall lectures, um, and which I was mentioning earlier regards to like doing schools and events and even on, on stage, she comes and does a lot of... Um, social social differences speeches and so forth and highlights what government needs to do to change things with dancehall um and she's also hosted li weekly live shows at the house of dancehall in kingston um and she was also trying to orchestrate a dancehall road march and i'm going to show you a video about a video about that because because of coronavirus it had to be put on hold. Um, you were working on a project before COVID that kind of got scrapped. Tell me a little bit about this road march that you were working on. It's not scrapped, it's just on, you know, pause. Well, it's, it's, it's cancelled, it's postponed. Um, yes, the first ever dance hall road march was going to take place right here in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And that would have been July 5th. So we're looking at a new date for next year. I was hoping to do it in December, but as you see, we're still on a lockdown. Yes, correct. In an unprecedented move, Smith hosted an online dancehall workshop on Saturday at Kingston's Versatile, Big Up Versatile Studios, dance studios, where she provided a lecture on the dancehall history or history of dancehall and spoke about paving the way for the dancehall queen culture the icing on the cake was undoubtedly when she ditched her sandals and got comfortable in her leggings and she broke down her timeless butterfly move whining techniques and other popular jamaican dances Whenever you dance, practice in the mirror. Catch the beat so that you, you'll slow it up or speed it up, she told her audience. You don't have to worry about how the move looks. You see, once you feel the beat, you will get the move. Totally agree. Like a lot of people are doing all these TikTok in sync moves, copycat moves. Dancing is supposed to be something you feel. So big up Carlene for saying that. Don't worry to get the move at one go. Because when, when I was doing this move first, um, there was some of you who would have said uh, or point out that, you know, because of your field, that I was not doing it correct. So in the future, don't worry to think about the move too much. Feel the beat and the move comes in. Trust me. Students sang her praises following the, sex, uh, the session saying her beauty her poise her vision her staying in focus is being true to herself thank you for bringing her into a unprecedented class lucky to be a part of this a patron said i love to see her in her element another added this is was so emotional for me i just joined and i enjoyed it i i uh, followed her at dancehall queen Carlene lecture and clash on zoom to hear her story and see her do the butterfly just unbelievable for me right now but it happened thank you for this moment and I hope I will meet you live in live one day the dance camp um commenced so that it just talks about the dance camp the dance camp afterwards but either way as you can see People just admire Carlene. People love Carlene. And those of you who never knew who she was, I hope this video helped you get an idea of who she is. And please, all the people you saw me highlight their content in the video, take the time out to watch the video on Carlene. Credited to all of those individuals. Big up, Carlene. Happy birthday again. 
I hope you enjoy this video. Love you. Bye. There were dance all people dancing and competing against them one another. But there was no title. There was no crowning her a dance all queen or it never exists till I created it. It just never exists. Nobody thought of calling anything in dance all and put the word queen to it. So it just never exists. And I thought all women are queens. It doesn't matter where you're representing, Subscribe. all women are queens. Hit the notification bell to be updated with new videos. Share and like. Thanks.